Hello ladies and gents, this is Kenny Smith, Chief Master Instructor, President and Owner of Total Force Training Group. I'm going to cover a little bit different topic in this, yet another horrible self-filmed on my cell phone video. I've come out here to where I usually camp when I get the bug, just to give you guys a quick once over of that area. Got two little cabins here, old as hell, alright, we ain't going in those old well there we got to be careful of, alright, pretty good AXA. This is where I, I go, alright, this is my favorite little spot in the world. Alright, I grew up here, run around here, so I'm going to share with y'all some of the lessons I learned here. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is surveillance detection, alright. This is just as much relevant to the armed citizen, especially if you live in the border areas. Uh, I got an uncle that lives in Reagan County, Texas, this is a big old cattleman. Uh, he says the cartel violence is doing nothing but getting worse. Uh, as such, I've restructured my own EDC, which I'll make another video about, and uh, went through, my, redid my go bag, and my actual uh, bug out bag, as a lot of people call them, has changed. Matter of fact, sounds like uh, the Army doing Robin Sage, just flying one of their uh, OH 58s or little birds overhead. I know that rotor wash. So forgive me, but I'm going to try and look for it. But uh, anyway, flies overhead, flies overhead. Um, Alright, so here we sat, and I hear it closer. Sorry, my ADHD is kicking in, ladies and gents. And it's going to be obstructive of the trees around me. Alright, so now that's over, I'm still not done looking for it. But anyway, we're going to talk about SDR. A lot of y'all have seen me type stuff about that. Uh, First thing, you have to have the capability to perform an SDR, be it walking or, uh, you know, in your vehicle or whatever. Basically, surveillance detection comes down to you might not be alone. Uh, these people do it for a living too, okay? Uh, if you're a law enforcement officer especially, uh, you should anticipate surveillance, especially if you work in narcotics, a patrol in a gang neighborhood, anything like that. If you're an armed citizen, well, you know, if someone means to hurt you, they're probably watching you. Uh, happens all the time. Buddy of mine's investigating a bunch of home invasions now. Uh, the guys actually do do their recon, very much like a, a tier one military unit would scout something out before they did a killer capture, or very much like detectives and or SWAT team would before they made an entry. So it's a relevant subject. They know people's routines. They follow them. Uh, you know, if you're dumbass and put your EDC on YouTube, hopefully it's heavy enough like mine to scare people away. Like I said, I'm going to go through the update to that very shortly. Uh, anyway, here we go. We're off about doing our thing. Uh, first part of the SDR is if I have to turn right, I'm not going to turn right. I'm going to make three lefts. All right, go up one street, make a left, left, left. Okay, I should wind up on the same place. Someone will f might follow you one, maybe even two, before they catch on. You know, if someone follows you for three turns, you're being followed. All right. Uh, if I'm on foot, I better have the endurance to keep keep moving. All right. Be it in an urban environment or out in the woods like I am. When I tell y'all I live in the sticks, I live less than three miles from this place. Okay. <laughs> this this is my backyard practically. Um, so you have to have the endurance, or in the case of your vehicle, you need to have the fuel. All right. If uh, besides fuel maintenance issues, uh, I had a fuel tank crap out in one of my last vehicles. Not fuel tank, rather fuel pump. It ain't cheap. All right, uh, you keep more fuel in the tank. Uh, it keeps the pump cooler, makes it last longer. Also, if I need to evade somebody, be it a criminal or you know drug cartel, if you know who knows, maybe I'm a police officer. Okay, maybe I've got maybe I arrested the wrong guy last week. You know, uh, matter of fact, uh, instructor candidate Carter, a uh, fellow who was killed not too long ago, uh, was actually threatened by him in a parking lot. So, I mean, police officers aren't immune either. You have to assume that every threat, as you all know, is real. And if someone, matter of fact, I was riding with him in his Jeep one time and he saw a vehicle that looked similar. And we did an SDR about every five minutes, just about when we were in town until we got out in the boondocks. But, you know, it wound up not following us. So we just kept seeing it again. And it was just coincidence and traffic. But nonetheless, you know. I didn't know that at the time, and I'm, I was thinking, you know, what the fuck, dude, you're just being crazy. But then he told me about it, and I was like, okay, cool, I'm on guns, where'd you put the shotgun? You know, and I'm looking in, in his truck for something bigger than, you know, I think I was carrying a 45 at the time, something like that. I know he was carrying a 1911, I think I was too. But uh, anyway, so we made our three left turns, we've got plenty of fuel. Uh, now let's look around, okay? Looking around, that is your biggest asset. 
we preach situational awareness, okay? But we can always be taken by surprise. Uh, I think Rob Pincus at ICE Training, I think he's got a very good thing going with the counter ambush method. If I wanted to hurt you, I'm not gonna pay attention. You know, I'm gonna pay attention to you, and I'm not gonna attack you when you're paying attention to me. You know, that's the way it works. Criminals pick on the the, the victim. You know, the victim is the weak, the old, uh, the small, the unarmed, the untrained, uh, any number of things. Okay, so. We, we're paying attention to everything around us, but we're not paying attention to anything specific. Jeff Cooper called it condition yellow. However, it's completely impossible for us to live our lives that way all the time. So, what can you do? All right. As you look around, okay, and I'm just looking, let's say I see someone looking at me funny. All right. Well, I've got, I can't obviously look at him because if I acknowledge him, it may do two things. It may spook him. All right, and if it spooks him in a bad way, he may come after me now. If it spooks him in a good way, he'll leave me alone for a while, and I've got some early warning. All right, very much like uh, the border agents, uh, Border Patrol, uh, CBP, ICE, when they're conducting sweeps in land, you know, in marked vehicles. You know, my uh, I've got family who work for the Border Patrol. They said, you know, you pull up beside somebody, and they don't look at, they look at you, and then look away. All right, and and they look to be Ill, possibly the type that might come across the border illegally. Look, profiling happens. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. If I'm looking for a his, uh, Hispanic person, because most people coming across the southern border are Hispanic, it's nothing against Hispanic people. I'm just saying, let's be honest. <laughs> if you see someone that's acting suspicious and they fit the profile, you might want to talk to them. Uh, very much like we're going on about, if you see somebody wearing a bandana hanging out of their back pocket, and it's a color that you know happens to belong to a gang in the area, and they appear to be following you, you're probably getting marked. You might want to take some evasive action, all right? This is just a little quick primer on surveillance detection, all right? This isn't meant to make y'all ex, uh, experts or anything. It's just uh, going over surveillance detection route. That's what SDR means for those of you that don't know. So make sure you have the endurance to do one. Make sure you have the situational awareness to pick up the signs of surveillance. And I may actually type up something and go off a of script and give you a little bit more professional video on that. And I'm still trying to find someone to film for me. Uh, yeah, this is just a spur of the moment thing. So I hope that surveillance detection route video gave you all some insight. And I hope it helps you all. I uh, hope you never have to do one, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I would coach your family. Yeah, if you think you got someone following you, hey, you know, hey, make three right turns instead of three, you know, a left. You know, make three lefts instead of a right. You know, no alternate routes. Okay, that is the biggest thing for surveillance detection. If you're afraid of being followed, don't go the same way twice. Okay, if I like today, you know, the, there's only one way in and out of here. Well, there's two, but one of them's my little my little secret. Uh, so I'll probably wind up going out the same way, but I won't take the same specific route there's several trails that all go to the same exit so you know i probably honestly i probably will go back out because if anybody tries to mess with me out here then well that's you know their funeral this is where i learned most of this stuff at uh running from my uncles and my cousins and you know just being a boy in the woods so anyway you're we're paying attention you know we know multiple routes we're not going to go out the same way we come in we're not going to go in the same way we plan on going out unless we absolutely have to we've got our appropriate kit we've got our mind in the right place we're in shape we got fuel in the tank we're good to go all right stay in the fight and uh hope you all stay safe have a good one and i should be able to put some more videos up tonight as well stay frosty